Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today's video is a very exciting, um, basically it's just kind of a big random chaotic thrift trip slash thrift haul. I have already thrifted all this stuff, but I have the footage of me thrifting that I'm gonna show you guys. And then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you all of the amazing clothing, home decor, accessories, all of that that I found. Let's get you thrifting. Hello everyone. So I probably will have already done an intro before this but yeah today we're just doing a fun thrifting video i'm gonna look for home goods i'm gonna look for clothing i'll probably lean more on the home goods side than the clothing side um but yeah we're just gonna go to a couple thrift stores and see what we can find it's gonna be very chill it's a really nice day out i'm just excited by the nice weather and excited to look for spring stuff for my house spring clothing so i guess this is kind of like a spring thrift with me maybe maybe just like the start of a spring thrift with me so yeah let's do it
Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the clothing first because I was just talking about clothing and accessories and then we will move and then we will move on into home decor. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the pieces of clothing that I found. Um, the first thing I will show you is this adorable vintage sweater. So this is from, uh, actually it's old Lord and Taylor. It's 100% cotton and it is this adorable Lord and Taylor sweater. It's just kind of a creamy white, really chunkier type of knit. And I left the price tags on so I could tell you guys how much everything was. This was $4.99. So a very cute, just very basic sweater. I don't know, I'm always kind of looking for stuff like this. This is just such a great option to have in your closet. Definitely a staple piece. I found a couple pairs of jeans. So the first pair that I'm gonna show you is a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren jeans. I've had a pair of these before a long time ago. They don't fit me anymore. <laughs> but um, these ones are definitely a little bit looser and I think will be a better fit for me now. But um, they're really, really cute. Great wash, very straight leg. I'm really getting into the more like straight leg jeans instead of the traditional mom jeans that we've been wearing. I just kind of like a very classic straight leg, not tapered at the leg ankle look so this is the first pair very cute definitely a little looser on the waist but um i kind of i don't know I, I don't mind that actually and then this is the second pair and this pair was 5.99 and this is actually kind of tragic so i've actually already tried these ones on um i love the way that they look they are lee and they have some amazing distressing like in the knee right here it's like such a good rip um but these are so short i'm pretty tall i'm like 5'8 i think that um i will have to find these a new home because sadly as much as i like them and they fit otherwise they're just too short next pair of pants are these cute little shorts so i got these because i thought they'd be perfect for summer um they're kind of almost like a little bit of like a cargo or like utility short they've got this elastic -y piece in the back and then these really nice wide pockets that kind of remind me of like a cargo pocket. Um, but I just thought these would be super nice for wearing like at the pool or in the summer or whatever, just very easy throw on pair of shorts. That's why I got those. You know, also Eric's upstairs lifting weights. If you hear the huge crashing noises. <laughs> That's what that is. Next thing is, this is the thing I'm probably most excited about. This was $3. It's from the Rescue Mission, which is a thrift store we have local to the town that I live in. And it is this amazing 100% linen, really pretty, almost like a sagey green gingham linen shirt. I'm literally obsessed with this shirt. This thrown over a tank top and a pair of jean shorts is like my summer uniform. I'm so excited to wear this this summer. I love it. I just love it so much. Moving on to the accessories that I got. This is just a really funny little hat. It says window world on it. I just really liked the color and the font. It's definitely clearly pretty old. And I just thought it was so cute. And then I got this bag. So this bag was $2. And it's definitely kind of like a Burberry knockoff, um, but I just really, really liked the shape. I don't have anything like this. And I just loved the shape, thought it was a really cute size. It's just a cute accessory. And for $2, I was like, I oh, should get this. I don't really have anything this size. And I liked how long the straps are because I can actually put it over my shoulder. I feel like sometimes with this shoulder bag situation, the straps are so short that you can't carry it anyway, but like carry it in your hand like this. And I just like, I need something that's like a little easier to carry. Last accessory that I'm going to show you, I am, when I tell you that I'm so bummed that these don't fit me, like I'm devastated that these don't fit me. I will be listing these on my Poshmark because someone needs to have them. That's how amazing they are. These vintage work boots they are in absolutely pristine condition they are so stunning literally i am like actually so disappointed that they don't fit me i don't know what size they are i would say they're probably a size like six and a half or seven um but they're just like 
amazing. Doc Martens makes a similar pair of boots. I think it's called the Leona boot. This is like the original, like look at this, it's amazing. So if you have that size foot and are interested in these, I think I'm gonna be listing them on Poshmark, much to my sadness because I love them and I would wear them every day. So that is all of the clothing that I got. Now let's move on to the home goods because I have so much stuff to show you guys. I almost forgot before I move on to home goods, I want to show you guys these three belts that I got. I like don't even tend to wear belts that much, but I found these three and I love them. And so I want to show them to you guys. Super fun, funky belt that has this like, Eric said this reminds him of like a Wonder Woman belt because it has that kind of like V in the middle, um, but it's old, very clearly, very vintage suede. And I just love the idea of this with like a dress or something. It's the perfect belt to wear with a dress, I think, in my opinion. This belt is this amazing Western style belt, also leather, also vintage. I just think it's so cool. Like you can tell it's clearly really high quality. You can find these all the time on fast fashion websites, but I highly recommend if you're looking for a belt like this, go to the thrift store. They almost always have some really nice classic leather belts and some really cool Western style belts like this with like the little metal tip and a big metal buckle. So if you're looking for a belt like this, definitely check out your thrift store. I'm almost positive they will have something similar. And then the last belt is this very plain and simple brown leather belt with this kind of gold stitching and it has a gold buckle. Very simple and classic, but I just really like this one as well. So now we will move on to the home goods. Okay, I'm gonna start by showing you guys the art first. So this piece, I thrifted from a Goodwill in Charlotte recently, and I just haven't shown it to you guys yet. So this is only $2, and clearly it's not framed or anything, and it was just painted definitely by someone who just was painting for a hobby. But I kind of love stuff like this, and I think this would be so cute, um, either in a bedroom or just like to bring out at Christmas time and kind of use as art around Christmas time. So I thought, this was adorable, but I still absolutely adore it. It's this stunning black vintage frame with this really pretty scene. It looks European to me, maybe like from Switzerland or something, but so, so, so pretty. This is probably my favorite. I kind of want to hang it like right there in one of those spots. So I'll update you guys when I figure out what I'm going to do with it this guy i think he was 15 dollars, and he is so freaking fun it's this gold frame which i love i love this background it's almost like some sort of tweedy material and then this adorable greyhound or something adorable greyhound sight hound something like that right here painted on so it's literally painted on and I love that I just love him I think he's cool some people might think that he's weird but I think he's adorable and I love him this is one of my favorites this was five dollars and it is this stunning gorgeous gorgeous stoneware platter I left the price tag on so I'd remember to tell you guys how much it was this beautiful green sagey gold detail around the edge and then the stamp on the back says Royal Premier Porcelain, England. Henry Alcock & Co, England. I'm gonna show you the little stamp, if you guys can see it. I always look for the stamp because it just tells you a little bit more about the piece and the history. It also has the number 13 on it. And I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I'm always looking for platters. I literally am always looking for them. I have such a hard time finding them. So this was so exciting. I love it so much. For a, another piece of stoneware, this is an amazing, it kind of looks like a terrain, but that's not what it is. It's just some sort of dish. It's a stoneware dish. Um, that has this amazing lid. I bought this. This was uh, cost me $14, I think. 
um, and I think it's so pretty. It doesn't have anything on the bottom. It says made in the USA, beautiful stoneware pot dish really pretty and it would make a beautiful planter i don't think that you could still use this to cook in it i'm sure one time you did but this is perfect for decor put a plant in it put it up on your shelf as decor so many options still i love it my obsession oh, my obsession with thrifting rolling pins for decor continues i think it's getting a little bit out of hand but i couldn't leave these behind this one i think each of these was like three dollars this one I love. I don't think it's old, but I just liked the shape. This one is definitely old. And I just like that you could tell it was old. And then this one's my favorite. And this is my favorite because of the detail of the handles. I think these make such good. Well, first of all, you can still use these. Like this is still something if you bake and cook, like you can still practically use this in your kitchen. But I also just think they're so lovely and add such a really pretty accent to your kitchen put them in a bowl put them in a crock this wood warm like tone that they have adds some depth and some you know old antique feel to your kitchen in such an easy way those are my three rolling pins i need to like be cut off from buying them now um i oh i have another stoneware piece that i meant to show you guys this one was five dollars and it's a little bit more grungy um it's another platter this one was made in Cincinnati, Ohio, and it does not have a date. It just has where it was made. So this is another U made in the USA piece. I love the shape. It's such a pretty platter. It's a little deeper, so you could serve like some vegetables in it or something like that. Still, definitely you could use this as a serving dish. It doesn't have any noticeable cracks or anything. It's just a little bit worn looking um, and obviously very clearly handmade, but I love this one have just two baskets this time to show you guys this little guy that i got i think he was like 50 cents and i just really liked how small the weave was and the little shape of it i thought it'd be cute to put like a little plant in or something and then i got this tray this tray was three dollars got this at goodwill and i love thrifting a wicker tray it's so useful for so many things Use it on your coffee table, put some books in it. There's so many ways you can style it up. I lied, I have another basket thing that I forgot I had. And I have another accessory. I guess it's kind of an accessory kind of home decor, but I'll show you. So this is the other basket. It's this cool round, but like shallow basket. I really, really liked that. And I think it's like the perfect bread basket. So I wanna show you guys this. This was like 50 cents, I think one more stoneware item so this one says on the bottom i honestly can't tell what it says <laughs> but it's this like casserole dish that is a little bit suspiciously shaped like a chamber pot this was four dollars and i thrifted this at goodwill i love the color and i think once again this would make an amazing planter or a serving dish whatever you choose um if it doesn't bother you that it looks a little chamber potish, i would say this would make an amazing serving bowl so um this was the other big dish that i found so first i'll show you a couple of the books that i found eric actually found these too this is huckleberry finn and then the other one is this really pretty book journeys throughout bookland i just love that this spine is so 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 pretty this looks so nice sitting on a bookshelf using it as decor this right here it says imagination wisdom character truth and a beauty. I love that. I feel like they just don't make them like this anymore. That's like making me like feel something. Um, the illustration on the back cover is so stunning too. Sadly, it was ripped. You can tell how old this is. Um, but this is kind of what the, it's just so, so, so pretty. And it has some classics, Rumpelstiltskin, Hans Christian Andersen, Midas and the Golden Touch, the snow queen so it looks like a lot of just like kind of fairy tales um and then like some aesop's fables so very lovely adorable for a children's room or really any room in your house as decor and you can also read it but i just loved this kind of um 
There's a specific word for making paper that looks like this and I honestly can't remember what it is but I just love the cover of this one. It's kind of this like peachy and cream color. And then the other one is really, really special. Um, first of all, I love the color of it. It's this stunning pattern with like red and teal and sage green. And this is like one of my favorite covers. And then I opened it up and I was looking through it and this picture fell out. Like this is why thrifting and antiquing is so special. So this picture fell out and I don't know who it is. I feel like it was like someone's old boyfriend like back in the, I don't know when, there's not a date. All it says on the back is Todd. So this guy, his name was Todd, Palmer Photo Service, Boone, North Carolina. Look how cute he was. This is like someone's grandpa now. It's so sweet. Like someone was probably reading this book and like tucked this little picture of their bow in here as a bookmark. And I just feel like that's really special. So it will always stay in here. I will leave it in here forever. Linen napkins. This is not super exciting, but if you're ever looking for linens, always check your thrift store first. These are just some really beautiful linen, creamy colored napkins. I got four of them and I think for all four of them, it was like a dollar. So love those. We'll definitely be using those. This was the thing I forgot to show you in accessories. I don't think I would ever wear this, <laughs> but um, that's like this for decor and just kind of hanging it on a wall. This one's really, really pretty. And I even love the little thing on the front. So I'll be using this probably as decor, not wearing it. I found this, this was $2, this amazing, really old, really, really old terracotta pot. I don't know if it actually is really old because I know sometimes they make them like this nowadays that look super old, but this one looks very, very old and distressed. And I love that so much. So I had to get this. And then I found some mugs, two different sets of mugs. So these were $1 each. They're these really pretty stoneware white mugs. I got a set of four, so I spent $4 in total and I still need to wash them, but um, I think they would make so cu such cute like hot chocolate mugs. It's like not even winter anymore really, but I just thought they were adorable. And then the last set of mugs that I got are these um, fruit mugs. And so this is actually really funny. I spent like a couple minutes staring at them trying to make sure that I got two that had peaches and two that had pears. And then I realized that like they had both peaches and pears on the same cup. Like I was looking at one side and then I was like, oh, it's on both sides. So I felt really stupid after that. But um, I just think these are so cute. They're definitely like hand painted. They have a little stamp on the bottom. I can't tell what it says, but it just says USA, but I think they're adorable. All right, my cat wants to say hello. This is Boo. You guys have probably seen him on my Instagram, but he's a Maine Coon cat, and he's actually only six months old right now, and look how big he is. And he's gonna keep growing till he's two years old. So he's precious and we love him. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for just supporting me and my channel. Um, I appreciate it so much and I love you guys. And don't forget to check out Lily Silk and click the link down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.